Nice. I don't know what that did, but okay. I can see a clustered study through a hole in the attic floor. I have no way down. Study. I thought we'd seen the study. Gotcha. Garden shears. Perfect. Okay, now what? Mm, I guess that's all, except for this chest, which we can't... I'm not sure we can do it yet, can we? I'm not sure. Well, okay, I, o I opened the blue part, so... What does that do? Oh, okay, I have to, I have to do both? I guess. Part, but I didn't get the second. <laughs> oh. New Orleans B. That's the cutest newspaper name I've ever seen. Mansion in ruins. Death and destruction have been the fate of the Pouncer Mansion. Scourged by floor by flames at 4.15 o'clock yesterday morning. The blaze lasted some four hours, leaving the home a mass of smoldering ruins. No bodies have been accounted for as the search within the slag and soot continues. Mr. Ponser, the home's owner, remains unharmed, yet devastated by the horrifying events of the evening which began with much, with much revelry. I'm not sure if that's how you spell devastated, but okay. What began as a humble send-off quickly spun to madness as the entire riverfront property was engulfed in flames. Local fire crews were too late to the scene to prevent the loss of many lives. Aforementioned, Ponter is the sole expected survivor of a tragedy whose cause is currently unknown. Well, well, well. Find the way down from the attic into the study below. Oh, I do have rope. Can I use that? Is it a bit too small? We do have rope. Oh, that's okay. Alright then. I, w I thought that hole was a bit too small for me, but uh, I guess I'm very tiny. <laughs> Page ripped from an old book on pirates is pinned to the wall. Oh, this must be the dad study then. Mr. Lawson was rather intrigued by this Phineas Crown. I should find more about him. F Captain Phineas Crown, also known as the Black Crown, was an 18th century English privateer turned pirate. Crown gained infamy by overtaking scores of weakly defended French, Spanish, and the English trading vessels entering the Gulf of Mexico via the lucrative Caribbean sea routes. Unlike other famous pirates content with absconding with treasure, Crown and his men commandeered the entire vessel, leaving no survivors. When reading about Captain Phineas Crown, it is important to be able to distinguish between fact and fiction. I wouldn't want to meet this fellow in a dark alley. Yep. The monogram suggests someone possessing the initials AB has been here recently. Mm. Yeah, don't know anyone by that name. Oh. Oh, this was the door with the uh, busted doorknob. Okay, okay, okay. I thought I had to, like, find a crowbar or something. Judging from the ruckus upstairs, it sounds like you've been keeping yourself rather busy, detective. Why are you so Please annoyed by that? Please tell me you've found some clues to Marcus's whereabouts. No. <laughs> Why are you so annoyed by me moving around your house, lady? Come on, take a... Take a, like, have some tea or something, sit down. After Marcus found that map, he turned the third bedroom upstairs into Treasure Command Center. He used it as a dumping ground for all the junk he collected about this supposed pirate. It was the folks that he met at that tavern down the road that stirred his interest in all this nonsense. I don't know what it's called, just some towny dive bar down by the river. I would rather you stay focused on finding Marcus. Well... But if you must, you should protect yourself from the mosquitoes. There should be some bug spray in the closet by the stairs. Oh, yes, thank you. I really needed that. 
Well, detective work does include me, you know, like interviewing witnesses, potential witnesses, you know, that kind of thing. Don't think I'm just going there just for the heck of it. Thank you. Canvas the town to see if anyone has information about Mr. Lawson's disappearance. Alright, now we get to head into town. town being one of my favorite parts of the game, actually. Not the house, but the town. And I remember there was a very pretty lady down by the tavern. Okay, shop's closed. There's the tavern and the service station. Let's go to the tavern. Hooey! Taters drink and swaller! Oh, it's ladies' night tonight, no wonder. I'm just gonna survey the outside first. Oh, I went in by the back. Actually, that's that's not very nice. I should go in by the front. Ugh. Honestly, like when you make these close-ups of you know like items, these the close-up parts are so well done. I have a visceral reaction to them. I'll go in by the front. Hello. That was the pretty lady I was talking about. She was so okay, pretty. Oops. <laughs> Oh, welcome to the drink and swallow, stranger. You here to pick up that carryout order? Uh, no, that's not me. Hello, pretty lady, what's your name? The chicken gumbo? Oh, never mind, Shug. I thought you was here from down the road a piece. Just as well, I guess. Our cook Lamont didn't bother showing up for work again tonight. Something about his gorder acting up on account of the weather. Say, you look like you know your way around the kitchen. Would you mind seeing if you could cook up that gumbo? It goes to the angry fella lives down the lane. The one with the gun? Alright, so now besides being a housekeeper, I am also a cook. Also, I remember not being able to ever beat this chess game. I don't know why. Not chess, sorry. Checkers. It's a gentleman's game. Well, afternoon, stranger. Name's Venton. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I work over at the library in Raceland. And normally I'd be over there updating the card catalogs right about now, but I heard it was ladies' night tonight. So I figured I'd wander on down to the Swaller, see if I couldn't bag me a honey. Ugh. Why don't you sit down? Keep me company. No thanks. I have no idea who you're talking about. Shouldn't tracking people down be the sheriff's business? Yeah, you're right about that. Unless that fellow owes you money. Is that it? You a gambler, stranger? <laughs> Listen, after a few drinks, I tend to forget my own history, let alone that of this here neighborhood. Besides, information you're looking for is from quite a while back. <laughs> Tell you what, though, gambler. You beat me at a game of checkers, and I'll have someone look up the history of that house that fella just moved into. All right, so... A lot of good-looking ladies in here tonight. The hell? There's no one in here. It's just a lady at the counter. Don't you be hitting on her, okay? I saw her first. Okay, I remember for the life of me, I could never beat this guy in checkers. And I always thought I was pretty good at checkers, but um, uh, I guess not. <laughs> See what I mean? Ah, uh, I'm just gonna skip. This is gonna take way too long. I think I might already lose, but whatever. Oh, dang it all! Well done, stranger. You done bested me at my own game. Not really, but okay. Tell you what. Give me a few minutes and I'll call my friend over at the library. Let me see what kind of historical information we can dig up on that there house of yours. Thank you. I'll fax over whatever he finds. Now get lost. You're hurting my chances. Gee, thanks. You're the one who asked me to keep you company. Anyway. Thank you kindly, stranger. Appreciate it. 
All right, so the cook is missing and I have to make some gumbo. Gumbo? I've never had gumbo, and I don't know if there's like any place here that actually, you know, can cook an authentic gumbo, but like, I would love to try some. The tomatoes right here. Yep, I think I got all I need. Don't get the special. Okay, I'll come back later. Hmm, there's a phone I can call. Manager's office. Hmm. Melba. Tavern employees. Okay, I don't think we need to call anyone yet. Rubbing paper. Okay. Ugh, so gross. Oh, that little piece of thing. Okay, gotcha. What is that, honey? Hmm. Okay. Gumbo looks delicious if I don't mind saying so myself. Right. Deliver the gumbo. This dude. Well, look at here if it ain't my supper. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna give you. Just kidding. Here you go. Not sure how I feel about it being delivered by some stranger. You know, folks around here, we don't take kindly to strangers. Gee, I wonder why. Mr. Who? Oh, you must mean that fella moved in next door. Yes. I wasn't aware he'd gone missing. All I know is he's keeping odd hours and, and poking around here like he lost something. I also heard that that couple they hired to clean up the place is into the devil magic. You know, voodoo. I hear tell Mary Lee does the cavorting with the spirits and such. If I were you, stranger, I'd keep my distance from that one. She's just trouble looking for a place to happen. Uh, you don't want to go mess with that. Well, you're only half. The house right? next door has been subject to speculation for a long while. Now, I, I can't tell you much about the house's history, but I can tell you this it sat there empty for as long as I can remember. I'm surprised the Lawsons decided to move in, with it being cursed and all. Of course, they're not river folk like us and probably don't carry much sense. Well, you're, you're probably right about that. The curse of the pirate Phineas Crown. Some folks believe that house next door was built by him and that his ghost still walks the halls, keeping an eye out for folks trying to steal all his treasure. Listen, stranger, I'd love to talk with you more about this, but my wife's been nagging me all week to get that old air conditioner fixed. <laughs> How about this? Why don't you take a look at it and get that thing fixed, and then I'll tell you all I know about that pirate. Why not? <laughs> Okay, gotta get a bunch of stuff. Cooter! I'm not having you or any guests until that air conditioner gets fixed! Size D bra and other garments dangle from the clothesline. And 
I need rig wire. Doggy! Is there any red wire around here? Uh, oh, pardon me. Well, at least he said pardon. Hmm, what's in here? Ah. Shovel! Always useful. Okay. They really got the damp swamp aesthetic down pat. Like, honestly. So good. Really good. Very gross. Which means they're doing a really good job. I'm a detective, mechanic, and cook rolled up into one. Well, set me on an anthill and rub jam in my ears. If that's the sound of my old air conditioner running, you just made yourself a new best friend. Now you just tell me what old Cooter can help you with. Well, I'm glad. Like I was saying, folks say the famous pirate Phineas Crown built that house next door. Some say he's buried in the cemetery down the road. Folks around here are smart enough to stay clear of that place. Not me, apparently, because I got a missing persons to investigate. Oh, Phineas Crown was a wicked one, all right. He used to run a smuggling operation out of New Orleans in the 1700s, and eventually got into pirate in the Gulf of Mexico. He and his men would sneak up alongside trading ships in the middle of the night and <laughs> everyone on board. Instead of looting the ship, he'd steal the whole dang thing. I mean, why not, right? No one knows what happened to the ships he plundered. Some folks say he sailed them right up the Mississippi and into the swamps around here. When he got too old for pirating, he built a big old mansion and threw a party. And it was there, people say, that a horrible fire broke out and killed every last guest. That kind of sounds like Ponser's dinner party that went up in flames, unfortunately. Hmm, what a coincidence. Hello, Mrs. Cooper. Hi, detective. Welcome to Louisiana. My name's Charlotte. Why don't you cool off with a nice cold glass of lemonade? Oh, don't mind if I do, Charlotte. I take it you've had the misfortune of meeting my other half, Cooter. Good mercy. Where did I go wrong to marry that sack of bricks? Well, he ain't too bad. Seems okay, halfway decent. Yes. We finally have some new faces just down the lane. I still should throw them a proper housewarming. I'm afraid Cooter doesn't like me leaving the house as he is just plumb sure that I will run off with another man. Anyway, I just spend my days watching my stories and working on my doll collection. Mr. Crickets belonged to my dear mother before she passed, rest her soul. Rest her soul. You see, mother was deathly afraid of snakes. And since snakes are afraid of parrots, well, she found a feathered friend and a protector in Mr. Crickets. I apologize for the vulgarity the bird has learned from my loathsome husband. Out of all the actresses uh, in this game, I, I really liked hers the most. I remember enjoying her dialogue. Oh, my dolls are my pride and joy. 
The doctor told us years ago that we should not have children because of Cooter's temper. But their tiny voices console me at night when I wish that I had made better life choices. Aside from Mr. Cricket's, my dolls are my prized possession. I only need one more to complete my collection. And there's one in that game down at the tavern. But I've never had the good fortune of getting it out. Charlotte, I would move mountains for you, Charlotte. I would get you out of this house if I could, Charlotte. Forget what I said about your husband. He's pretty mean to keep you up in this house all by himself. Lemonade looks delicious. I might have a glass. I just noticed that your uh, table is being held up by cinder blocks. Keep your hands off our property. Poopy bird. <laughs> oh, okay. I need I need a coin. I need to get a coin first. Hmm. Honey. Rubbing paper. Shears. I got a lot of stuff actually. <laughs> eh. Oh wait, I do have a coin. I'm a I'm a dingus. I forgot I picked up a coin first. Doll are we talking about? Two hours later. Oh, is that the one? Okay. Great. I had no idea what the doll actually looked like, so I'm just glad we got the right one. I had some money to repay you, but Cooter handles the finances. I'll, I'll let you borrow Mr. Crickets for a little while, but you have to keep him away from that Mary Lee. That woman, working for them folks down the road, should not be trusted. Who knows what kind of voodoo she could do to my sweet Mr. Crickets? If I were you... I would keep my eye on her. I think she has better things to do than do voodoo on your Mr. Crickets. Thank you. I do have a use for your Mr. Crickets, though. You're not gonna like it, but, you know. Okay, go back to the house and talk to you. Mr. Crickets, no! Where do you go? Oh shit. Do do we have to worry about Mr. Crickets? I kinda forgot. Oh well we're here. while we're here. Service station is closed and the pumps are turned off. Well, looks like someone's day off. Ice? Ice? No. It's closed. Oh. Someone didn't lock the door. Contents frozen inside a solid chunk of ice. Can I, um... No? Alright, fine. Live bait. Maybe like, um, ice pick or something, maybe. gas? Yep, it's a gas can. Well, didn't say if it was uh, empty or full, it just says a gas can. So, okay. Alright, we got that. Um, no idea where Mr. Crickets went, I'm sorry. Right, I'm gonna have to talk to Mary. Oh! Oh! 
Was the mechanism that we we tampered with in the attic? Yes, it was. Okay, so the mechanism that we fooled around with in the attic was actually for the chandelier. Okay, nice to know. Mary! Just who do you think you are running around here making such a mess? Sorry. That foul excuse for a dog got into the garbage that you saw fit to spread across the kitchen. Sorry. Now it is one thing to be investigating the disappearance of Mr. Lawson. It is entirely another to be making a mess for me. Sorry. Now I suggest you find that trash and pick it up. Okay, I will. Yes, Mrs. Mary Lee, I will do that. Oh boy. That's one. Anything in here? Nothing in the bathroom. Nothing in the bedroom. I had honey. Is the honey used for this jar? I mean, for the bees? Jesus Christ. Oh, I think we need this bird cage to catch, um, uh, what's his face? Mr. Cricket. Alright, that's good. Gotcha. Right, what do I do now? Dispose of the trash with the garbage disposal in the kitchen. Oh. You smell like that garbage you've been picking up around here. Well, excuse me, Mary. If you've Mary got Lee. a question to ask me, you best be quick about it. Fine. Jesus. Like I said before, my beliefs are no concern of yours, Detective. But I'm just curious. If you have a hankering to find out about voodoo, I suggest you find your way downtown and speak with someone named Mama Amy. Mama Amy, you say? Who is this Mama Amy? She runs the store down the way. She should be open about now, and she can answer any questions you might have. Ah, this was the store that we tried to get into, but it was closed. And now she's open! Drop it! Drop it.